Hi, I'm Brad Smith, the author of Beersmith, and today I'm going to talk about the shopping and inventory features in Beersmith Web. Beersmith Web is a web-based version of Beersmith which lets you build recipes from any browser, including your computer, tablet, or phone. To access Beersmith Web, log into your BeersmithRecipes.com account. You can also create a free account and run the free trial at this site. Note that the web-based shopping list and inventory are not currently tied to the desktop version, though we do plan to add it in the future. To access the shopping list, go to Inventory, Shopping List. You can also reach it from the sidebar over here while working with recipes and tools. From here, you can add anything from your various ingredient views by using the buttons at the top. For example, if I want to add a hop, I can just select it and enter the amount here and, of course, the price. Um, you can click on the drop-down menu next to any item if you want to add or delete it. You can delete it, or you can edit, add a single item directly to inventory. In this case, I'm just going to delete this single item. On the menu bar, there's also a button to print your entire shopping list, and you can print it out and take it to your local store. You also have the option to access this list directly by logging into beersmithrecipes.com from your phone. And finally, you can mail the list uh, to your local store or to yourself just by clicking on the mail button here. And it'll create a list that you can mail to the store or mail to your own email account. Um, using the empty button on the top, you can clear the entire list if you wish. Uh, in this case, I'm not going to do that. And finally, you can do a bulk add of all the items in your shopping list to inventory. So, for example, after I've purchased these items, I can add them to inventory by clicking on the To Inventory button. And then here, if I wish, I can edit the amounts, or I can selectively decide whether I want to add certain items or not. So, it's very easy to move items from the shopping list to the inventory after I've purchased them. Now, let's switch over to the Inventory view. Um, the inventory view looks very much like the shopping list view. Again, I've got a list of items here. I can, much like the shopping list, add any item that's in my uh, ingredients list just by create, uh, clicking on uh, the Add button up at the top and then selecting the item. I can also delete items by going over here to the little click, uh, menu button next to the item and clicking on Delete or clicking on Add to Shopping List if I want to add an individual item to the shopping list. Note that there is a reorder threshold here for each inventory item, so I can set the reorder threshold uh, to be higher or lower than my current inventory. And as you can see, it'll actually highlight items that are below the reorder threshold, so I can look down the list and see which ones need to be reordered. Um, of course, you can print the inventory view by just clicking on the Print button here. And that's the basic inventory system. Since the inventory and shopping list are both tied to your account, you do have a uni united view of both if you happen to have multiple people in your brewery uh, working on inventory and shopping list items. And finally, I want to go to Recipe View and show you a few of the recipe features that integrate with the shopping list and inventory. Um, the first I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, select this particular uh, recipe, which is Beersmith's Dry Irish Stout, and click on the drop-down menu next to it. And you see I've got two buttons here, one which will add uh, all of the ingredients in this particular recipe to my shopping list. So if I click on that, it'll take the eight ingredients in this case in the, shopping, in the, in the uh, actual recipe, and it'll add them direct to the shopping list. Um, as I mentioned earlier, after I've purchased those items, I can take them and now move them to inventory. And then once I go back and brew this particular recipe, I can remove it from inventory. And the Remove from Inventory button uh, will match up the items in the recipe against the current inventory. It'll show me the current inventory. And it'll also uh, uncheck the box for items that, ha that I don't have enough inventory or don't have a match. Um, but by doing this, I can effectively remove the items uh, from inventory after I've brewed a given recipe. So taken together, uh, these functions allow us to complete the loop, basically where we can take a recipe, add it to the shopping list. We can move it from the shopping list to the inventory after we've purchased the items. And then, of course, we can remove them from inventory after we've brewed a given recipe. There's one more feature I do want to show you. If I click on a given recipe and open it for editing, 
Uh, there is a button here that will update the prices for this recipe. And it does this by going out to the inventory and pulling the latest prices uh, from inventory. And then it will update uh, the total cost for the recipe based on those given things. So, um, so that's, how, those are, that's a summary of the shopping list and inventory features in Beersmith Web. Uh, you can give it a free trial at any time by setting up an account at beersmithrecipes.com. I'd like to thank you for listening.